we get a call from Endemol. Endemol says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. So whatever she told me. What's good, YouTube? Back on another video, back on a reaction. Dave reaction video, bro. We got Monique, and she's on the Shay Shay show. What she have to say this time? Because last time, my mama, she's a long time ago, she was talking about something. But she's now on his show, Spreading Rooms. That's what I was hearing. So we going, we about to get into this video. We react to it, rate this video at the end of it. And she's going to be talking about Kevin Hart. She's on Kevin Hart or something. All I do, let's get into the video. If you're, new to my, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, bro. We're this close to 500. 500. I'm blessed to have y'all, man. Let's get into the video, bro. Now, you know when Cat Williams said gatekeepers? Yeah. Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. I do his um, podcast. Yes. And I want y'all to re-listen to the podcast so you can hear it for yourself. When he first comes on, he says, you're like my mother, you're like my aunt, you're like my sister, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we do the podcast. We speak about the Tyler Perry situation. Oprah Winfrey, he said, I don't really know Oprah, but I'm gonna reach out to Tyler. Appreciate that. Kevin kept his word. He reached out to Tyler Perry. Kevin Hart called me back about maybe a week or so later. He said, Mo, I talked to Tyler. He said he don't want to revisit it. He said, but I tell you what, let's move past that, Mo. Let's just move past that and let's just do great things. So whatever That's you, what Kevin said. I want you to hear me, Kevin Hart. Let's move past that, Mo. Let's do some great things together. Don't even worry about it. Whatever y'all want to do, I will partner with you. I'll executive produce with you. You just let me know what you want to do. Now, let me say that before we go any further, because I want to make sure I give Kevin Hart his proper credit. When my family was up against... Is she talking crap about him or what? Why do y'all comment talking about that he, she's talking shit about him? It's all right. The wall... Kevin Hart wrote us a check and said, here you go. We're forever grateful for that. When we were able to give it back, we said, brother, we appreciate you with some interest on top because I don't ever want nobody to think me and my book. husband. So I want to make sure I put that out there. That was, that brother really helped us out when we needed to be helped out. Then when he came back with, I got you, I didn't ask Kevin Hart to do anything. He said, I'll executive produce, I'll partner with you. I said, good shit. Bro, I think... Honestly, I think he should actually bring Kevin Hart to the show. What do y'all think in the comment below? You think he should bring Kevin Hart to the show? But it just like it, it's mind blowing because right now it's really it's really doing toxic now on his show right now, bro. On his very show, and he's like as the mad people, it's like they got stuff to say out their chest. Jit <laughs> Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol. And we're trying to get our talk show back. Mo, whatever it is, I got you. Now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest entertainers right now in the world. Correct. right? And was then. We got off the phone with Kevin Hart. We called in the mall immediately and said, Kevin Hart said, whatever we want to do, he got us. He's going to partner, executive use. They was like, oh, this is incredible. Because when you put Kevin Hart's name on it, you already know what it is. Correct. Two weeks go by. We get a call from in the mall. In the mall says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. So whatever she told y'all. Yeah, it's Cat. I think that's Cat, bro. Come below. You think that's Cat? Kevin Hart don't seem like the type of person that have, that have aggressive against anyone you just make jokes bro but i might be wrong but comment below if i am but right, you know but i just don't see kevin hart as like one of them toxic dudes man or harmful or like like do shady stuff i'll see it not one bit but nowadays you never know because you just gotta you gotta meet them fully to understand but he doesn't want to do anything with her nothing you know, he doesn't want any any kind of relationship with Monique. So what changed between the two weeks and when, and, and plus he gave you a check, you gave the money back, then said he would partner with you, executive produce, whatever you need, Mo, hey, we got you. So what transpired, or what do you think transpired between then, that two-week that two week period? Well, as soon as we got off the phone and they told us what well, Kevin's manager, David Becky, said, I called Kevin Hart immediately. I said, hey, baby, 
We just got off the phone with Endemol, and they said Dave Becky called them up and said, mm -hmm. you don't want anything to do with me. Mm -hmm. He said, Mo, that's, that's a miscommunication. I can tell you right now. I said, wait a minute. Are you okay, though, with this white man calling them up? Getting in between our relationship and something you said, he said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication, and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. I, I'm telling you right now, it's a miscommunication. That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. I've never. Oh, snap, bro. Okay. You think Kevin Hart forgot the conversation? Or did he just do it on purpose? Comment below. I'm definitely curious, too. Never talk back to Kevin Hart again. Mm. Building a strong okay, with that. US and Canada based supply chain is easy with drugs. That's because. So that's what we're faced with. When you allow somebody to come in between a relationship with a woman that you said, I'm like your mother. You said, I'm like these things. I didn't ask you for that. So everything that that baby was saying sitting here, everything he was saying was on the up and up. Because when you hear people say, get the anger out your heart. Oh, man, no one's saying he's lying. No one ever said I was lying. It's so easy to discount and devalue because of what we look like. Right. However, when it comes to Tyler Perry, I will not allow you to discount or devalue because that is your voice on that audio. Mm -hmm. Remember on Good Times mm -hmm. when Penny's mother oh, was man. up on yeah. her and then and she had recorded. You done brought up Good Times. That's history right there, man. It, mm -hmm. that's you on tape so how does it go from you saying you're going to give me an apology to now i owe you an apology but what do you want an apology for what 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 could i possibly owe you an apology for when you've admitted see when lee daniel says to me because cookie from the, the show empire yeah. i was offered that role now taraji tore it up baby right. it listen right. here however i was offered that then Felita called me back and say, baby girl, they said you're too difficult to work with. But you hear on the audio that a man told David Talbert I was difficult to work with. Do you see how that right. cost my family? Yes. And with no accountability because, oh, it's the great Tyler Perry. Bro, is Tyler Perry telling her she's too toxic for his shows and movies, bro? So she's a good actor. That's number one. When he gets to a good ass actor, bro, she is, bro. She can play a good role. Like I haven't not seen her in a couple of movies lately, but you know, it's I wonder it's because of the reason like this. I don't know. People's telling her that she's too toxic to be in these movies and stuff. Right? That's some really sketchy stuff right there, bro. No, you've got to be accountable for that. Oprah Winfrey, you've got to be accountable for the things you've done with my family. You've got to be accountable for that. Is there any relationship between you and Tyler and you and Oprah currently? No. When we have our juggernauts, Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, Steve Harvey, the Kevin Hart, these are our juggernauts of our community. These are the people that That's our tough. babies say, when I grow up, I want to be that. Yeah. I want to be like that. So we have to call those people to the mat and say, listen, what are you teaching our babies? You're feeding poison because you're showing them your private jet. I'm going to show you my mansion. I'm going to show you my fancy cars, but my character is shot and I'm bankrupt. I got a lot of money in my bank. It's more zeros than some of them can, than we can imagine. But their character, they are bankrupt. Those are bankrupt people. So everybody that Cat sat right here and told you about, I can't wait to see your next interviews with those people. They ain't coming on now, Mo. Invite them. I have. They not gonna do it. Well, look, I've already done Steve. I have a relationship with Steve. He doing. Not Steve Harvey, bro. I wonder what Steve Harvey is going to say. That's tough. He getting a lot of us. Oh, that's that last one with Usher, bro. Yo, out of all people, I thought Usher would never even speak like crazy, crazy stuff like that. It's crazy. Do him again. Do him again. And I'm going to say this. I'm trying to get Oprah and, uh, and Tyler, though. Baby, we got him. Y'all, come on. Stop playing. They ain't coming on more fakes to you. You know how. 
And I don't want to put you on a spot, but I'm going to say it because <laughs> I appreciate you as a black man and what you're doing. Thank you. If you are my friend mm -hmm. and someone says to me, Monique, Shannon shot wrong me. And you my friend? Yeah. I'm going to call my friend. You can come to me. And I'm going to say, hey, is what they saying true? And if you get to him and Han, I'm going to tell you, till you fix it, you and I can't talk. Because if you'll do them that way, you do that. it'll be a matter of time before you do it to me. So if Steve Harvey is your friend, mm -hmm. you call your friend up and you ask him, is what our sister saying right, man? Because if it is, we can't do that to her, if that's our sister. See, it took a transgender named T.S. Madison. It was a guy named Jamaica Carter. We, Jamaica Carter and I are mutual friends. Jamaica Carter and I My friends, mm -hmm. T.S. Madison was a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica called me and said, would you mind doing T.S. Madison's show? I go do T.S. Madison's show. When I tell T.S. Madison when the camera cuts, I said, listen, your friend is wrong. She said, Monique Lee Daniels is my friend. I said, then you need to call your friend and tell him to fix this shit. She said, I will. Within a couple of days, who did I get a call from? Lee Daniels. See, that's a friend. Mm -hmm. That's a true friend that's saying, I love you so much that I want to make sure that's not on your heart or your conscience. Let's fix it. Let's make it right. So when people ask Lee now, when we did the deliverance together, how was it to work with Monique? Well, it was as if we had never parted ways because he fixed it. He owned it and he took accountability for it. That's tough, bro. I can't now keep you to the cross because you've owned it. You're right. I've had to be forgiven. Right. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that, that someone had grace and mercy with me. So I'm going to have that with other people when they take accountability for what they've done. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member. That was crazy, bro. That is wild. If y'all new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Rate this video. Would you like it? Because I, I, I rate it probably like a, a 10. I'll give it a 10. A 1 out of 10, I'll give it a 10, bro. I'll give it a 10. I ain't seen Monique in a wow, bro. She haven't been speaking out. Like, wow. You think the stuff that she's saying about Kevin Hart is true? Stuff she's saying about Oprah and Tyler Perry and Steve is crazy. It's true. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to find out very soon, though. Very, very soon. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace.